Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Poor Owl Innocent Channel and what it's like to really be an actor in Great Britain. You know, this week I've done a lot of soul searching and I often wonder what it would be like um, if I hadn't become an actor. What would I be doing? <laughs> Does it really matter really, does it? I became an actor and that's that. However, I often ask myself where the drive to actually make it to the top comes from other individuals. I know where it comes from me. Basically, a need to feel the audience's eyes on me, a need to feel wanted at most times without being self-conscious of the fact that it's happening. I need to be other characters as opposed to myself. The fulfilment of something lacking in my own personality which I can hopefully grab in somebody else's personality just for a temporary time of existence. I mean, have you ever asked yourself where your drive comes from? I don't do that anymore. I just get on with it because it's there. And I'm fortunate enough to know that it's, um, it's never going away. <laughs> Nevertheless, I look at the exploits I've been through since I started as a professional actor. And sometimes I think, well, it's this that's brought me to this point, is it? Let's have a look at some of these. Right then. Let's go. Lads. None of us want that, bloody hell, believe me. <laughs> and what about my brother, huh? What are you going to do about him? I can't help that. That bastard who took my wolf out! Yeah. And Ted Cutler's wife still fighting for her life. Say it. Say David Highland's family special. Say it! Have you found him yet? Who? Oh. Dave. If he done it, I want him to be put away for life. Just calm down, will you? We don't even know he did it yet or not. Your stepdam and the people you hang about with, Jackie, could put Dave in a little league, to be honest. Look at you. Look at you lot. I mean, you couldn't even find your own bollocks. That's if you had any. Get out of here! Like I said, tell that bunch of cretins you hang about with, they're all being investigated for your boyfriend's murder, every last one of them. So what have you been up to, mister? So what happened, man? You've been fighting. Oh, I want to jump back! Oh, I want to jump back! I want to jump back! I want to jump back! Don't upset yourself. Everything happens for a reason. Time is a great healer. So just give yourself that time to heal. Okay. We don't want you or anyone else getting upset over these matters in the future. Okay? Okay. I basically wrote a screenplay about a man who's been unfaithful to his wife, and his wife is barren. She can't have children right here and now. Uh, so he goes off and has an affair with a woman who's his wife's friend. And that ain't gonna work at all. As far as I'm concerned, he shouldn't have done that. But she finds out about Anyway, latest projects. Currently working on a screenplay Finally got around to sending it out to a number of very, very, very well-known American actors, hoping that they're going to get back to me. Where there's a will, there's a way, as far as I'm concerned. So, 
it's uh, all going well. Looking forward to that. Had a couple of auditions. No, nothing worth uh, mentioning, unfortunately. I'd say basically. Two commercials, really. A lot of money, but nothing worth losing my head over. Don't um, lose any sleep over it. Currently enjoying life. Now this is London, May 2019. Don't think much of the weather, considering next month's meant to be summer. Look at that. Nice stroll, I must say. It always does the power of good. Look at that, London 2019. Nice stroll down River Bank. Well, it's amazing. Amazing is what I'd say, wouldn't you? <laughs> anyway, uh, London 2019. What's going on? I don't get this weather at all. Now, I know all about the greenhouse effect, but I'm not sure that the greenhouse effect knows how to operate the, the greenhouse effect. <laughs> this is the funny thing about it. Are you? <laughs> look at that. Have a look. Hey, 2019. That's what I'd say, isn't it you? Don't forget, that's me, 2019. I don't get it myself. Do you? I often wonder what it's like right here and now in Dublin. Can you believe it? That's quite a strange thing. We're not in Dublin. We're in London. And that's for sure. Is it right? Or is it right? What is happening? I don't know what is happening right here now. <laughs> hey, bada bing, bada bing, huh? <laughs> hey, NYC, New York City. Hey, voice things voiced. A cup of coffee? <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, what do you know, huh? <laughs> no coffee? What the hell? Oh, there's no coffee stand. No, there's no two ways about it. It's a nice year. So far, quite productive, I must say. Now, I'm hoping, lower than low, all in all, the American screen pretty takes off. We get what we want. And nine to five work can go kiss its own buttocks, as far as I'm concerned. But we shall see what happens. Only time will tell. Only time. But at the moment, I'm quite positive. I've sent to 15 very, very well-known actors. I've had a response so far from one of them. I've started casting the feature film as well, so it's all good. All right, okay. So that's it for this week's episode of the Paul Innocent Channel and what it's like to really be an actor in London, United Kingdom, 2019. Bye bye.